What's up YouTube, it's ZapDoshTG here and uh, today I recorded a battle video as uh, many of you suggested I should do, it's not like the ones on uh, TCG online, it's uh, just real life uh, battle video with my own cards and uh, I'm on the left side with my Arceus sleeves as you can see and uh, my opponent aka my friend <laughs> is uh, on the right side, uh, you can get a glimpse of his deck right now, he has uh, energies like fighting energies and Yanmas and Dolphins and stuff so he's running the stage 1 rush deck. And I'm running the TZPS deck, also known as the Tornado Zekrom Pashrichu Shaman deck, which I made a couple of days ago when I uh, wanted to take it out for a spin, so I called my friend and uh, yeah, we just got this battle video going. I recorded a couple of battles, but I decided to upload the most exciting one. Uh, it wasn't fun to upload a video where I dunk him on the first turn and he couldn't do anything, so that wasn't worth uploading. And as you can see, we just uh, started the battle and we don't have uh, basics in our hand, both of us, so we have to shuffle again. And if you uh, both don't have any basic Pokemon in your hand, you don't get to draw an extra card. Uh, both of you, you just reshuffle and uh, try to get a basic this time. So both of us just get 7 cards, no 8 cards or something. But if uh, one of us haven't, don't have any basics and the other one has, then the, the other po uh, player can uh, draw an extra card. <laughs> and that's what I want to say for uh, beginning players that don't know uh, what happens when you don't have a basic. So there you go. So we're just uh, shuffling again and uh, now we're drawing 7 cards. You can also get a glimpse of our, our hands, uh, the camera, <laughs> oh it looks like I don't have any basics again. And my opponents as well, so <laughs> this is kinda funny. Uh, twice in a row we don't have any basics. <laughs> but this was the most exciting game of uh, all the games we recorded. So this was worth uploading on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Also, uh, my uh, episode will be out on Sunday or Monday. Uh, just have uh, I made a video. I'm uh, gonna, gonna make it in a couple of uh, hours actually. So, just giving you uh, a battle video to start off this weekend. <laughs> also, there's Battle Roads uh, on Sunday, so I try to go to there. Uh, it's in France, and I'm from Belgium, so it's kind of far away, but I wanted to go just to get some uh, battle points to go to the World Championships, maybe. It'll be kind of fun playing my first year and uh, going to the World Championships right away. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, my opponent doesn't have any basics again, and it uh, looks like I have, so uh, that's good. I got to draw an extra card, as you can see. And I'm setting up my prize cards, and my opponent has to shuffle again. Every day he's shuffling. <laughs> I wanted to say that. Uh, aside to that, he's just uh, shuffling and see that he runs a Zoroark. So he has the Zoroark instead of a uh, Chinchino. Some uh, use Chinchino, others use Zoroark. I think they're both pretty good. They're stage uh, 1 Pokemon, so they're perfect for this deck. And I'm just looking through my cards, see what uh, combo I can pull on the first turn. And he's uh, setting up his prizes. Kind of a uh, weird way to set up his prizes, but anyway. Now let's see uh, who gets the start, and it's dice roll, and it's, yeah, it's tails, and I chose head, as always, so he gets the start. And looks like I have a pretty bad start, I start off with Shaman, which is uh, one of the best, uh, not one of the best, one of the worst setups I can have with this uh, new deck I created, the TTPS deck, which I already explained. And he's using Pokemon Collector from the bat, so he's getting out, uh, oh, Kleffa, looks like he doesn't have a great hand right there. Uh, he's searching through his deck. Uh, also, search through uh, your entire deck to uh, know which Pokemon are prized or trainer cards that you'll need later on in the game. So, when you have them, uh, don't uh, be kind of surprised when they are prized or something. So, always look through your entire deck when you have the op opportunity, like uh, with Pokemon Collector, which is a great start. So, he has uh, an awesome start. He has Cluffa to shuffle his deck, uh, he has Fampy out. Uh, yeah, pretty much uh, a nice setup for this uh, stage 1 rush deck. And um, looks like he has Judge in his hand, as uh, you could see a glimpse of his hand. And now it's my turn. How will I do with the Shaman on the field? It's kind of hard building a, a one-hit uh, wonder, as uh, Pokemon Stadium would call it. Uh, the one-hit dog on the TCG terms. Um, I'm using Professor Juniper and discarding a lot of uh, my cards. Just because I had such a bad hand and a bad starter Pokemon. I wanted to uh, start off with a dong, but looks like, yeah, I'm placing two tornadoes on the bench. A patch with you, I mean, two energies attached, just because I use Juniper, which is an awesome card in this deck. If you want to have a fast 
uh, dunk. So I'm retreating uh, my Shaman, placing, um, uh, yeah, it's a Tornadus, it's my full art Tornadus, which is the active Pokemon right now, I'm giving a, a dual ball a try, and there we go, uh, one hits, and another hits. So two hits, which is uh, great to pull off, instead of Collector I'm using dual ball, I couldn't have used Collector this turn because I... I have uh, used Juniper, which was better because I had an awful hand to start off. Now I have lots of basics out. I can use uh, more cards to uh, get the dunk going. Looks like I do that. My entire branch will be full, but at least I'm gonna have the dunk in this uh, uh, battle, which is the thing this deck is supposed to do. Just overpower your opponent on the first turns and get those prize cards as fast as you can. So now I have uh, used Patrichu's uh, self-generation to get the energies to Patrichu, then I use Shaman, place him on the bench, and uh, with this poke power I can move around energies, which means I have 3 energies on my Tornadoes, and I used the attack Hurricane to knock out a Fampy, I believe. Yeah. So, and uh, after the attack Hurricane, you just have to move the Lightning energy to another Pokemon on your bench. And it's my opponent's turn, he gets out a Yen Mega and he uses uh, Sage Training. Which lets you uh, look at the top 5 cards of your deck, choose 2 of them and uh, put them in your hand, discard the other cards. You have to show the cards that you discard though, just because you have the right to look in your opponent's discard pile. Yeah, he's attaching an energy to his Fampy. And he's uh, dotting on uh, using some other cards in his hand, but he has to uh, make sure he has the same hand size as mine to attack. Because he uh, has the Omega out and spoke about he states if you have the same amount of cards in your hand as your opponent, you can attack for free. And that what uh, he, he wants to pull it off, but it uh, looks like I have one card in my hand, so the Omega is pretty much useless. So he retreats and I use Cleffa to uh, get a fresh new hand, just like a Professor Oak. But with Krafa you can stall a bit, uh, because if he stays asleep, you can uh, yeah, just stall for time because you can't attack uh, the Krafa if he's asleep, which is a spoke body by the way. Also the attack is called Eek, <laughs> which is kind of funny. A lot of Krafa cards have the attack uh, Eek. Okay, he gets his fresh new hands. Uh, I hope there aren't that many uh, evolution cards in it. Uh, it looks like I have a Zoroark, as I can see. So, uh, if he's asleep, yeah, he is asleep, so I can't attack, which is kind of a bummer. But he uses he used Catcher to bring up my sh uh, Shaman, which, got, which is uh, kind of bad, yeah. I'm batting on uh, what I should do next. Should I give an energy to Shaman and retreat him, or uh, should I just build up some other stuff? Looks like I uh, retreat to Shaman because Shaman can uh, do anything in this deck because you need grass energies, but Shaman is just in it for uh, the uh, energy switching and uh, Tornadus, uh, his first deck to get energy from the other Tornadus. And my opponent is uh, still asleep. He gets uh, another energy in play, attaches it to a Fampy. Now he has two energies attached to his Fampy. So when he gets out that Dolphin, I'm pretty much screwed because uh, 90 damage will be reduced by 20 uh, be a by Tornado's uh, resistance, but still 70 damage then uh, on a Tornado's 2 hit KO, bang! So uh, he uses Judge, we both shuffle our hand into a deck and draw 4 new cards I believe, yeah, that's uh, the use of Judge, it can disrupt your opponent's hand, but it can also help you. In uh, my case, I think it uh, kind of helped me because I had a low hand, not many cards in it. Okay. There we go. The four cards. And uh, yeah, he uses Pokemon Communication. Fampy, four of course. Uh, it'll, it'll be a Dolphin for sure, yeah. Dolphin Prime. The uh, attack, Earthquake, 1 energy, dealing 60 damage, it's uh, an awesome card, it's one of my uh, first Prime cards I ever pulled, it's kinda epic, I didn't have it on camera though because I just 
uh, three months ago I started this channel three uh, and a half months I guess so I haven't been long on this channel but I hope you guys still enjoy uh, the videos I make try to make them as interesting as possible oh yeah let's clap as awake so back to action it's my turn looks like I have super scoop up in my hand I'm attaching a lightning energy to the um, to the shaman I retreat him I could have used super scoop up but I wanted to save that for uh, another time so I'm getting out my tornadoes with three energies attached and I'm still thinking on uh, doing some stuff hmm Looks like I had to doubt on making a decision. Yeah, I catch you the Donphan. I could have uh, completely KO'd that uh, Cleffa, but I decided to get rid of the Donphan as quickly as possible just because uh, when I get out of Zekrom later on, it could be trouble. So, uh, it's back to my opponent. He uses a uh, Junk Arm, getting back the Catcher, I believe. Yeah. And he uses the catcher, so he brings up my uh, Patch Richu. And he can uh, just simply KO the Patch Richu. With the attack Earthquake, and also uh, the downside of Earthquake is dealing uh, 1 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. But the, my opponent's deck runs a lot of max potions, so I guess he will uh, just heal himself up with them. I place another Tornadoes on the bench, just because. I don't have uh, that much attackers on my field. Uh, the two Shamans and Pachucci are simply for uh, the Poke Powers. So, uh, three Tornadoes versus uh, Dolphin and Yenbega. Uh, interesting matchup. Yeah, we both have uh, five prize cards left, so this battle will take quite a while. It'll be split up in two parts, definitely. When I reach the, the f uh, 40 minutes and, uh, and a bit, I just. Uh, Pause the video right there and uh, I'll bring you a link to the next video which comes uh, watch part 2. So, right now I'm looking to my discard pile. Guess I have Junk Arm in my hand. Uh, when your opponent also uh, looks in his discard pile, or when you look in your discard pile, it's kinda obvious you have Junk Arm. Or another trainer card that could bring up uh, stuff from the discard pile like Flower Shop Lady, Energy sh uh, No, not Energy Search, uh, I mean. What else can uh, energy retrieval? Yeah, that card can also bring back stuff from the discard pile. So I'm using the junk arm, and I'm discarding two collectors. So when you have lots of collectors in your deck, it's awesome to uh, junk arm them for nice stuff. So I'm getting. I was dying on using super scoop up. Uh, uh not super scoop. I'm dying on using uh, the catcher to bring out the catcher from the discard pile. But I decided to go for super scoop up. I know it's risky, but I wanted to. Use a, a poke power from a Shaman, uh, not for Shaman, from Pachirichi to attach more energies. But as you can see, it's still so I pretty much uh, disrupted my own hand with the junk arm because it failed. So I only run uh, one super scoop up, and it uh, looks like I lose Hurricane to uh, knock out the Dolphin. So I'm also uh, pretty happy about that because the Dolphin uh, could have been trouble later on. So I now have to. Two prizes picking, and uh, my opponent only took one prize card, so I'm taking the lead. Use his collector. That looks like he has a catcher in his hand. So he shuffles. Uh, no, not he shuffles. What am I saying? He gets out three basic Pokemon. Looks like a uh, Yanma, Zorua, and uh, no, 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 no. mystery Pokemon. It's Fabi, of course, the three main Pokemon of his deck. Zoroark. Dolphin and then Mega, the pre evolutions of this uh, of these Pokemon is Happy, Zoroark and Yanma. Okay. He's uh, now he has the same hands as, as uh, me, but he decides to drop them all on the bench. And uh, yeah, I guess he's gonna use e uh, Eek again. Just to have a fresh new hand and evolve those Pokemon when he has the opportunity. Which was a nice strategy of him. And he also uses his catcher, so he has no hand size right now, but he's just gonna use uh, E to get a fresh new hand, which is great. And yeah, uh, this is uh, pretty much it for part one. Uh, thanks for watching. If you wanna stay uh, tuned for part two, click here. And yeah, this was Sadder Thanks a lot for watching. Till part two. <laughs>